What up Big Brother 26 fans? Here is your live feed update for August 5th. It was a drama filled day. I have like eight pages of notes, so let's get into it. First thing in the morning, Cedric tells Tucker the backdoor plan for Quinn is not gonna work. They just don't have the votes. Cedric tells Tucker, do not give the veto to Angela. Use it on yourself. Tucker says he gonna do what he wants to do. Cedric then finds Brooklyn, Cam, and Quinn and lets them know that Tucker and Kenny came to him wanting to backdoor Quinn. At 10.45 Big Brother time, the feeds go down. It's an early veto ceremony. At 12.15, the feeds come right back up. All the house guests are still in the living room. Tucker is visibly upset. We find out that Tucker, who won veto, did use the veto, but he gave it to Angela. Cedric, who told the boys he was going to put up Quinn, ended up putting up Mackenzie, who obviously used America's veto. There's a small glimpse of it here. You can kind of see the flag on it. Tucker tells Quinn he thinks he's a great player. Quinn disagrees. He says great players don't get called out like he just did. So there was probably a blow up during the veto ceremony that we didn't see because feeds were down. Mackenzie is upset after finding out what Quinn's power was compared to hers. She tells Quinn she thinks America will put Quinn up. Tucker says he's upset with Cedric. He says he can't believe that Cedric did not go with the plan, but he is happy that he's forcing everyone to actually play Big Brother. Angela and Quinn get into it in the kitchen. Quinn raises his voice and the feeds get cut, so we don't even know what the conversation was. Cedric tells Cam, Kimo, and Takora that he hopes he shows where his loyalty is. He tells them that Tucker did pitch the idea to put Quinn up. Cedric says he wanted to tell the collective, but he wanted to talk to Quinn first. He just never had the time, but he assures them that Quinn was never an option to go up. Cedric says that they all need to agree that whoever America puts up is safe, regardless of what happens. Joseph and Rubina think that Tucker will win the arena and that they should just vote out Kenny this week. Tucker tells Cam that Cedric is a scumbag. Cam lets Tucker know that even if Quinn is the replacement from America, they're not voting him out. Tucker doesn't agree. He says that they should because Quinn has an alliance with literally everyone in the house. Tucker says he's going to give it his all to win in the arena. He says, if anything, he got everyone to start playing the game. Cam tells Tucker he feels like Angela had been telling the truth about a lot of things going on in the house. And Tucker agrees, saying he feels awful for not believing Angela from the get-go. Quinn is making his apology rounds. He tells everyone he's sorry for not letting them know about his power. Tucker lets Rubina know that even though they don't have an official alliance, he's always looking out for her. Rubina then asks Tucker why he's been so risky lately. He tells her it's just a game. He would like to win it, but if he loses, he's fine with it. He really wants to break the first person in the house curse. Joseph tells Cedric that Tucker was always a target. He's just a bigger one now. Angela tells Cedric that the move to get Quinn out with Tucker would have been a boss move. And Cedric just threw that opportunity away. She says he could have sent Quinn home with a power and he could list that on his big brother resume. She says he had a golden apple and he just threw it away. Rubina and Takor speak. They agree if it comes down to Tucker and Kenny on Thursday, they're going to vote out Kenny. Tucker tells Quinn he wanted to battle it out with him in the arena. They say that they're good with one another. They both know it's just a game and they hug it out. Joseph tells Tucker he just made great TV. Tucker lets Joseph know that the house was getting boring and he's not afraid to play the game. Joseph speaks to live feeders. He says he has the worst allies in Big Brother history. He said Matt just didn't know how to play. Angela was messy. Tucker blew up Quinn's game and Quinn is just a rat. Quinn tells live feeders he thinks he's safe for the week so he's not worried. Takor tells Cedric she doesn't know how to feel about today. Cedric tells her that working with Tucker was never an option because he always has the collective's back. And he says he didn't blindside Tucker th because this morning he told him to use the veto on himself. Joseph and Quinn talk about the next HOH. Joseph says that Quinn should just throw it and then use his power anyway. Quinn agrees. Quinn then fills Joseph in on the Pentagon Alliance. Joseph tells Rubina that America loves good TV. And if they feel like someone isn't playing the game, that person in the house should be worried that they will get voted up. 
Rubina thinks that it could be her, and Joseph says it's a possibility because she hasn't really played in any of the games. Angela tells Tucker that she asked Cedric why he didn't go with the plan to put up Quinn. She says Cedric told her that it was because that's not what the house wanted. Tucker tells Angela if he does not win the arena, then he is going home, and Angela tells him that she will not vote for him to leave. Angela then thanks him for using the veto on her. She says the game has been boring so far, and Tucker says everyone's been playing way too safe. Leah tells Cedric that Quinn was trying to work with her and that he would give her information, but now she sees that Quinn was just trying to work with everyone. Mackenzie and Chelsea talk. Mackenzie says she hopes she's not a target next week, seeing as she had to burn through her power today. Chelsea says it doesn't matter who wins HOH because Quinn is going to use his power regardless. Mackenzie thinks if America puts up Quinn, maybe they can have enough votes to get him out. Mackenzie mentions she wants to talk to Tucker. Chelsea tells her to mention both of them, Brooklyn and Leah, and see if Tucker would be down to work with them. Chelsea then fills in Brooklyn about her conversation with Mackenzie. Mackenzie then speaks with Tucker about forming an alliance. She mentions Brooklyn and Chelsea, and Tucker mentions Rubina. Mackenzie then asks Tucker if Cedric knew that Tucker was going to give the veto to Angela. He says yes, that was always the plan. And Mackenzie says, well, Cedric claims that he didn't know what was going on. Tucker says he would have used the veto on himself if he 100% knew Quinn was not going to end up going up. Cam tells Tucker that Cedric told him that putting Quinn up was a risky move. And that's why he ended up putting Mackenzie up. Says Cedric said if the house saved Quinn, then he'd have a bigger target on his back. Tucker says he hates being called a liar, especially when he didn't lie. Tucker is now heated again. He tells Cam, Chelsea, Aaliyah, and Mackenzie that if Cedric is telling them that he was supposed to use the veto on himself, then that is a lie. Chelsea asked Tucker if his goal was to go into the arena and beat Quinn. Tucker says yes, and that is exactly what he and Cedric discussed for two days. Rubina tells Chelsea she is worried that Kenny will target the girls if he stays. Chelsea agrees and says she's leaning on voting Kenny out. Tucker tells Chelsea about the Shake It Up Alliance and the Ball Players Alliance. Says the plan was to get Quinn. She lets him know she believes him. Tucker then tells Cam that Kenny's now denying knowing the plan. Cam says that's crazy and he suggests Tucker should go talk to Cedric. Cedric happens to just walk in. And Tucker asks him, why are you letting everybody know I was a liar? And Cedric says, that's false. Tucker says, well, you said we don't have the numbers. Who is we? And that he, Tucker, was risking his game for Cedric and Cedric blindsided him. Tucker says he's going to win the arena and he's going to come back and he's going to gun for Cedric. Quinn tells Cedric he's using his power regardless of who wins HOH Thursday. And that his targets are Mackenzie, Angela, Tucker, or Kenny, whichever one stays. Tucker tells a group of the house guests that are bunched together that he just watched them all go outside and comfort Cedric. So Angela was right all along. Your performances are great for a low-budget movie. Quinn tells Decor that Kenny will likely throw the arena to Tucker because he's just been looking for a way to go home. Brooklyn warns Quinn that Mackenzie is trying to put something together with Tucker and Chelsea to go after him. Chelsea tells Decor she wants Kenny gone because he's targeting the women and lying about knowing the backdoor plan to get Quinn. They agree that Cam is also being shady and denying the plan, but admitting to it when Tucker confronted him. Kenny then confronts Tucker, asks why Tucker's been saying his name. Tucker asks why he going around saying he didn't know about the plan. Kenny denies it. Tucker's like, well, Cedric's been denying it too. Kenny wants to know where the info's coming from. And Tucker says the girls. Tucker hugs it out with Cedric, says he loves him, just not in the game. Kenny asks Brooklyn about the claims she's making against him. Brooklyn says just because a bunch of girls are talking together does not mean they're in an alliance. Meanwhile, while they're going back and forth, the house guests are in the backyard eavesdropping. The two of them end up hugging it out. Kenny tells Angela he's done playing and he checked out like two weeks ago. So here's where we sit now. Tucker used his veto on Angela. Cedric nominated Mackenzie. Mackenzie used America's vote. We'll find that out tomorrow, where we will vote for the renom, who we will find out is on Thursday's live show. Who are you guys voting for? Leave me a comment.